I'm in the telecommunication business. What do I know about leading a small group? I have kids. I'm going to school full time. I really don't have time to lead a small group. I was divorced, alone, raising two kids on my own, and it was pretty hard. I really felt isolated. I realized I could not do it on my own. It was one of the most difficult and most challenging times in my life, but the people in divorce care and my single mom's home group were really there for me when I needed them. I was also divorced uh, for about two years. Um, it was awful, it was painful. Um, made me feel kind of like a failure. Then I started dating again, and um, about that time I joined a men's small group here at the Oaks, and um, it was just really helpful with the uh, temptations, being a man in, a, in dating, um, just trying to stay pure. Um, those guys really helped me out, really listened to me, really understood what I was going through, and just uh, helped me uh, be accountable. Jeremy and I met through our kids' youth football league. We dated and went to church. We even hosted a small group together. We were both growing spiritually. Jenny and I recently got married in May, um, and being newlyweds with uh, two kids apiece, trying to blend a family, and going to nursing school full time. It's been um, crazy, um, stressful at times. But we have a great marriage. And I know our small groups have uh, helped prepare us uh, for this marriage and um, just uh, given us wisdom and just uh, keep each other accountable. I don't know about how I'm needed as a small group leader, but I know I need a small group. I know that being in the small group um, has helped me be accountable, uh, knowing that friends and families are there to help pray, to help talk me through things, to give me wisdom. Um, it's something that I need. Um, it's helped me just grow spiritually, and um, it's helped me become closer to the Lord.